Hey guys, I'm back once again. Uh, this time I've got my ACA 500. This is not the uh, 500 plus. I got this before they started manufacturing the uh, the plus. I definitely want to get a plus, but um, uh, not right now. <laughs> but anyway, what I wanted to do is uh, add the um, the coprocessor to this, the uh, FPU. And so I got one here and uh, we're going, I just added the, uh, started adding this socket just a second ago and finished yet. But um, going to uh, get this uh, coprocessor put in and the uh, the other uh, oscillator here and uh, see what happens. I, I, I've never done it before, so I just want to play with it and see. I actually had bought this one, uh, this FPU a while back to do this and I just never did do it. Um, but I kind of got the urge to do it. And this is a, this is one that uh, I use specifically on my um, Amiga 1000. So I'm just wanting to play with it and see what I can do. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, I got all my soldering done. I've got the uh, socket in for the uh, FPU and I've got the uh, crystal in, uh, the timing crystal in. Um, it was pretty, you know, it's all pretty simple, nothing. Uh, Nothing major, <laughs> but uh, so now we're gonna. The timer crystal is uh, 48 megahertz. My uh, FPU is 50, so everything should work fine. Um, and if you notice on here, the uh, marking for the direction to put the chip, and then the marking on the board. So if you ever do this, make sure you're, you know, getting it right so you don't bend the pins up. But there we go. And so uh, now we're ready to uh, head over to the 1000 and test it out. Okay, we're all plugged in here and I uh, just got it set up on some uh, game cartridges just to test it out. But um, we'll fire it up and see how, uh, how it does here. Cross your fingers. Okay, there we go. So now we're just to our uh, boot screen here. I don't think I need to change anything. I'll look through it real quick. I think everything is, uh, yeah, it's good. Don't need to change anything. I don't know if I can change anything. Um, working with the uh, 500 anyway uh, in the 1000. Okay, so let's uh, boot it up. We're gonna boot it into uh, 3.1 and I'm using the uh, workbench that I have set up for my 1200. So. We'll see how quick she loads up here too. That's one thing I like about this uh, ACA 500. It, it's pretty dang fast. Yeah, there we go. We're loaded up. That's really quick. Um, so I'm not, uh, I don't really have a good testing uh, program on here. I got the normal you know, system info. So we'll go to that and we'll check it out. But it does show that the FPU is there. And it's got, you know, the CPU there showing up. Everything's working like it's supposed to so far. Um, check out the speed. Okay, it's showing uh, 42.7 megahertz. So, yeah, that's not bad. But I, I do notice a, uh, it seems to be a little quicker loading everything up than normal. Um, you know, it could be just me too and wishful thinking, but, um, anyway, it's done. I, like I said, I had that, uh, FPU around for a while and I've been wanting to do this and I, I, I just didn't do it. I uh, should have, and I just didn't, but you know, you can see it was really simple. Um, nothing too complicated. Do it just a couple of minutes. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll pull this out real quick so we can get a shot of the chip and, and show you the numbers on them, which one I used. But uh, let's see, we'll turn around this way. Can they, can you get where they can see these numbers here? It's a 68882, uh, 50A, that's 50 megahertz. And then if you can see the uh, crystal up here, I'm gonna turn it over. The crystal's 48 megahertz. So it's working. So that's good. <laughs> Um, now she's complete. Um, so uh, I'm going to go stick it back over here in this ugly case 
I actually have updated my my case design a little bit, so I'm going to print out a new one so it won't look so rough. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, simple upgrade to do. Um, you know, I don't think it's uh, any big deal. Uh, I don't remember the cost of the uh, the chip itself. I, and like I said, I've had a pretty good while, but it can't be that expensive. So uh, you know, if you're looking to uh, play around with it like I like to do, do a little upgrading. Uh, this is pretty simple.